very few companies our size or larger have a wind tower the size that we do. So clearly something like that sets us apart. And beyond that, internally, we're doing a lot of stuff. Uh, recycling has increased over the last four or five years. Um, in fact, all the waste that's generated in-house, 70% of it is actually recycled. Um, I don't think people would really say that Lincoln is someone that they would think of as having 70% recyclables. And, and they're just a lot of things that you don't even think of that would be considered something that was a waste that is now recyclable goods. We've started to use recyclable materials for our finished products in the machine division for our skids there. But the skids that we also use just for um, handling materials and so forth are recyclable. The PC boards, uh, old equipment, a lot of these things are coming back to our uh, facility here, we're recycling, so a lot of things that were becoming waste and were going into the earth are not anymore, so it's, it's a huge thing. Well, we have an idea or a goal that we're going to reduce our energy footprint at all of our facilities 2 to 3 percent a year. For example, the lighting in the facility that we're standing in, um, we're always looking at ways to optimize that lighting, which really means using less energy. Compressed air has been a huge a huge thing that we've zeroed in on as something that is very costly energy-wise. So we've had a, a big reduction in that. As in the case of some of our products, they use lower amounts of energy. So it's good for the customer. They have to spend less money to make the same weld. Globally, we do things like use geothermal heating, solar power, and some other technologies. Here in, in Cleveland, we're putting in a new varnish process, which eliminates the need for uh, afterburner technology, so basically incineration of the fumes. It's a no solvent, no hazardous air pollutant process, again reducing our footprint, um, reducing greenhouse gases. Part of your role, part of the procedure in doing your job is being mindful of those things. And it's not supposed to be a bottleneck in the system of what you're doing day in and day out. It's something to be mindful of and actually becomes just as simple and of your daily grind as brushing your teeth in the morning and driving to work wearing your seatbelt kind of thing. It becomes that second nature type of thing, which is really great. So we have a responsibility and a duty to try to not only, I would say, comply with the regulations, but to not make the world that we live in any worse a place for our having been here. And I think we take a lot of steps, in fact, to make it a better place.